Hey guys, we've made it to this unknown creek. I'm sure it's got a name, but we just don't know it. But I do know that this is where they imprint the salmon and a lot of the wild salmon come back to return. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You obviously saw those fish as I was pulling out. So here's the creek. And this is the water these fish are imprinted to. So they go right back to the source. And then there's hundreds of sockeyes swimming out there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The water coming out of this creek is a lot colder than the water in the lake. But hopefully it's worth it because we'll get to snorkel with some salmon. I'm ready if you are. It's not bad right here. Oh, let me warm up for a sec. That is amazing. But there is a finite line between this water that's probably coming off like a glacier or something to the lake water. Right now, I'm totally comfortable. You hit this wall and the water's so cold it just like knocks the wind out of your lungs. But it's fun, getting some great footage. I almost want to keep doing this, but we are getting a little cold. So probably best not to push things. pretty cool. It was nice to get cooled off. It's been really warm here. It was a wee bit chilly in the river part, but it was worth swimming through it to see all the salmon. That was really cool. Who goes for a normal kayak? Not us. We packed a lunch, so now we're going to paddle out to the middle of the lake and have a sandwich and a drink. Today on the menu we have a lovely ham and cheese sandwich on farmhouse bread. Safeway's finest accompanied by sour cream and onion chips, big bowl of apples and pitted cherries and pears. This really is a gorgeous day guys. So these salmon, uh, you remember that video a couple back where I was fishing with Chris, that's where the salmon enter the uh, water system here and they swim up Bear Creek, go through a fish weir, which we'll show you on our way out of here and kind of explain that in a little more detail and into this lake, and like I said earlier, they're imprinted into that water up there. Could you do that over again? Because I just burnt. What an awesome view. We were just talking about how much we love living where we live and that there are few places in this world that can ever trump what we have here in Alaska. You ready to go? Okay, we've seen this rope swing before and we thought we'd paddle over to it, but I don't know. I don't see the uh, cord attached to the bottom anymore to be able to uh, draw the thing back up. I don't know. I think I'm a little too big for that, especially not seeing somebody do it first. 
all I can think of is Kevin James in that movie Grown Ups. Yeah, even like scaling this little shoreline here looks like it'd be interesting. Somebody's got a rope right there. I think I'm gonna pass. Yeah, it's probably a good idea because there's not a boat here with us, so if something does happen, there's no quick way of running all the way down the lake to the uh, launch ramp where like an emergency personnel could pick you up. So I think we're just gonna be mature. Well, there's also a lot of underwater obstructions there. And I'm not sure that you would clear all of that stuff if you accidentally let go too early or something. This is probably not the wisest thing to do. Okay, now we're gonna work our way back to the launch ramp. weird now and show that to you um, for lack of a better way to describe it it is a place where they stop the fish so that they can count them and then they pass on through they also collect them they do and they, they go to market they collect them and go to market I heard they were giving them away for free oh really this year they're giving them away for free it doesn't look like anybody's here right now but we can at least stop and see the weir itself no fish today they're closed and this is ran by the Cook Inlet Aquaculture Association. So this is one of the popular salmon viewing places in Alaska. There's also a lot of bears in this area. Hence Bear Lake Road, obviously. But uh, we have a local Facebook group where we notify each other of wildlife sightings and pretty much for the past month, every night, there's a bear seen in this area or the next subdivision down. I think we deserve a treat after that, don't you? As long as they have it. Right here is the Bear Lake RV Park and they used to have soft serve ice cream. I'm not sure if they do anymore. Do you want to run in and check? Sure. Well, unfortunately, they don't have ice cream anymore. So, I think we're going to be done for the day. I'm going to head back to the house. The puppies will be anxious for us to get home, and I don't know what we'll do for the rest of the day, but thanks for coming along with us. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Sorry, I gotta check and make sure there's no cars coming. <laughs> Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends, but above all else, enjoy the ride.